by now you are aware of what a voice is so a voice is that form of a verb which shows whether the subject of the verb is the doer or agent of the action denoted by the verb or not now voices are of two types active and passive in the active voice the subject is the doer of the action and in the passive voice the subject is the receiver of the action now we have learned how to change a sentence in the active voice into its passive form today we are going to see some more examples finish your homework quickly now if you look at this sentence you see that this sentence is giving us an order so what is the verb here finish finish what your homework but if you see there's no subject in this sentence so who is doing this action finish well the subject is not mentioned but it is understood you finish your homework quickly now in such sentences how do we change the sentence to its passive form the rule is slightly different we shall write it as let your homework be finished quickly so what do we see we have an additional word let at the beginning of the sentence now what was the object in our active voice your homework so we write it after let then we write the verb be finished now we know that in the passive form the verb is be plus past participle form of the main verb the verb here was only finish now here we keep the be verb as it is and then we use the past participle form of the verb finish so the verb becomes be finished and then the remaining part quickly so the sentence becomes let your homework be finished quickly now you notice that here we had a subject you which was not mentioned but understood so we have not mentioned any doer in the passive voice so here the doer is not important so what do we learn from here we learn that in sentences giving order or command we have to begin the sentence with let also the imperative verb changes into be plus past participle form so we need not worry about the appropriate form of the be verb we simply put be plus the past participle form of the verb now there is another way of expressing it in the passive voice this is an order finish your homework quickly so here we can say you are ordered to finish your homework quickly the subject we know that is you which is not mentioned so since it is an order this is another way of putting it which is very different from the ways we have learned till now you are ordered to finish we add this infinitive to finish your homework quickly do not betray a friend this is also an imperative sentence now how do we write it in the passive voice we write it as do not let a friend be betrayed so here we begin the sentence with do not we keep this part intact then we add let then this was the object so it comes after let then the be and the past participle form of the verb betray and our sentence becomes do not let a friend be betrayed now we can also write this sentence in another way so here what have we done in the active voice the object was a friend so we put a friend in the subject position then we should because the sentence is giving 
an advice or a suggestion after that we see that this is a negative sentence so we add this not to give it a negative meaning and finally the verb which is be betrayed b plus past participle form of the verb and our sentence becomes a friend should not be betrayed so these are the two ways in which we can change the sentence into the passive voice now once again you will note that here also we do not have the subject mentioned because it is an imperative sentence so we do not need to mention the doer in the passive voice as well brush your teeth twice a day now once again we see that this is an imperative sentence which is giving a suggestion we have the verb brush followed by the object your teeth so how do we write it in the passive voice we can write your teeth should be brushed twice a day because it is a suggestion we have used the modal should and the object becomes the subject then the verb is be brushed we have learned that the verb form is be plus past participle form and then the rest of the sentence once again you see the doer has been omitted in both the cases so what do we see in case we are having to express an advice or we are giving a suggestion we see that the object in the imperative sentence occupies the subject position and the verb expressing the advice or suggestion changes to should must ought to plus be plus past participle form of the verb so whenever you have advice or suggestion what you can do is you can add these modals should must ought to then we have the verb be and the past participle form of the main verb as in this case should be brushed now we could have written this sentence in another way in the passive voice how is that you are advised to brush your teeth twice a day now here what do we see brush your teeth twice a day remains as it is we have changed this verb brush to an infinitive form by adding a to before it and we have added this phrase you are advised now here we know that there is a hidden subject you we have placed that you in the subject position only and we have added this extra verb are advised because the sentence is showing an advice from this verb are advised you can see that the passive form is retained because are is the be verb and advised is the past participle form of the verb advice so this must be a little confusing for you but remember this is also a way of writing such imperative sentences in the passive voice please maintain silence in the library now here this sentence is showing a request you can see it from the word please now when we have such sentences expressing a request how do we change it in the passive voice we say you are requested to maintain silence in the library so once again you see instead of please we have used you are requested because the sentence is showing a request and this remaining sentence maintain silence in the library comes as it is only the verb maintain over here is changed to an infinitive form and we have added a to before the verb maintain in the passive voice so our sentence becomes you are requested to maintain silence in the library so what do we see for requests beginning with please or kindly sometimes the phrase you are requested to is placed before the imperative verb as we have done it in this case please do not touch the flowers now this is once again a request which begins with the word please but what do we say this is giving a negative sense why 
we have added this word not in this sentence. So when we are going to write it in the passive voice, our sentence will become you are requested not to touch the flowers. So you are requested remains the same. After that, we write not and then we write to touch the flowers. So this to is making this verb touch when infinitive. So we see that in negative sentences beginning with please or kindly, the structure becomes you are requested not to plus verb. Kindly mail us your contact details as soon as possible. Now here the sentence begins with kindly and we know that this is a request. So how do we write it in the passive voice? So the sentence becomes you are requested to mail us your contact details as soon as possible. Now here you are requested to the phrase is kept because our sentence begins with kindly and then the rest of the sentence follows. So what do we see once again? The verb mail becomes infinitive with this addition of to before it. Now there is another way we can write the sentence. We can say your contact details may kindly be mailed to us as soon as possible. Now here what do we see? Your contact details was the object in the active voice. So we have placed it in the subject positions. Now may kindly. Since it is a request we have added the modal may and then we write kindly. After that the verb be plus past participle form. So be mailed. Then it is coming to whom? To us. So this was another object, the indirect object in the active voice. So to mention that in the passive, we need a preposition before it. In this case, the appropriate preposition is to. After that, the rest of the sentence follows as it is. So that is as soon as possible. So the final sentence becomes your contact details may kindly be mailed to us as soon as possible. So this may be again slightly difficult for you but you need to read it carefully to understand how the change takes place. Now in sentences asking for permission the word please or kindly is placed between may and be. So what do we see? The verb is actually may be mailed but there was another word kindly mentioned. So between may and be we have inserted this word kindly. We could not have written it as your contact details kindly may be mailed to us or we could not have written it as your contact details may be mailed kindly to us. So the only way you can write it as put the word kindly between may and be. Ravi requested the principal to grant his leave. Now here we are already mentioning that it is a request. So this is an indirect request. So how do we write such requests in passive voice? We write the principal was requested by Ravi to grant his leave. So what do we do? First, we identify the verb that is requested. What is the object? The principal. So the principal becomes the subject in the passive voice. Requested turns to was requested. By whom? By Ravi. So the doer comes after the verb. And then the rest of the sentence to grant his leave. Now we could have written it in another way. We could have said the principal was requested to grant his leave by Ravi. But the better option would be to write Ravi first because this is refers to Ravi. So it is better to mention the noun before the pronoun. So what do we see? The object of the reporting verb occupies the position of the subject. 
and the infinitive in the active voice remains the same in the passive voice. So for indirect commands or requests, this is the rule that should be followed. Now that we have learned about some of the ways in which we can change requests or orders in the passive form, can you change the voice of the given sentence? So here we have the sentence, turn off the computer. So you see that this is also an imperative sentence, turn off the computer, it's an order. So we can change it into passive voice by beginning it with let. So first, we begin the sentence with let, then the object of the active voice comes after let, then the verb form becomes be plus past participle form. Now here the verb is turn, so that becomes be turn and the preposition of follows after that. So our sentence becomes let the computer be turned off. Now we could have also said it as you are ordered to turn off the computer. Even that would be another way of writing it. So today we have learned how to change imperative sentences into the passive voice. So there are several ways in which we can do it. So unlike the sentences we have done earlier, we see that in imperative sentences the passive form is a little different. So you need to practice more such sentences in order to master them. In the coming lectures, we are going to learn more about voices. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.